The thing that has helped me to continuously grow and to change and to evolve and to just find more gratitude and love in my life is literally knowing that I'm here on this planet imperfect. And I'm here to learn and grow and evolve. I'm not born knowing everything. I'm here to learn through trial and error, through mistakes, through failures, through setbacks. That's how we learn the best. So when these things happen, I don't get discouraged. I know that I'm on a journey and I'm on a mission to become my best self. And those obstacles often veer me in a new direction or help me to learn something that I can then take with me on this journey. Welcome back to another episode of the Unstoppable Mindset Podcast. I'm your host, Shawn Michael Crane, and we're down here in Pierpont, California at the Wonder Mouse Production Studio. Shout out Wonder Mouse. So today I want to talk to you about something that you can start doing right now that will give you a massive advantage in your life. The power of positive thinking is a superpower that will elevate the quality of your life in everything that you do. And what sparked this thought process is I've been hearing a lot of people on social media and individuals who have even written books talking negatively about positive thinking. And this is such a counterintuitive thing, right? Like, why would you talk badly about someone who thinks positively? Now, the reason for this is because on social media right now and in mainstream media, you know, there's a lot of stuff out there about positive thinking and people use the word abundance a lot and people talk about affirmations. And so I think a lot of individuals are misinformed and they think that positive thinking means that no matter what they're going through, they just continue to chant their affirmations and they believe that everything's going to be okay, but they don't change their behavior and that everything's going to be fine for them. And this couldn't be further from the truth. Okay. You have to take action in your life to create the results you want, but positive thinking is so crucial. What positive thinking means to me is that no matter what you go through, you find a way to leverage that experience and grow from it. Now, if you're having a moment where you're experiencing negative emotions or you're having a bad day for maybe a couple minutes, That's normal. We go through stuff. We react to things sometimes in a negative way or it triggers a negative response. It's okay to experience that. That's part of life. You're a human being, but it's not okay to stay that way for hours or days on end because of one experience. This is what I think of when I think of positive thinking. It's reframing what you're going through or changing the way you talk to yourself about these situations so that you don't stay a victim or you don't stay in a low emotional state and you can rise above it and then go attack your day. So if you're somebody that constantly has negative internal dialogue, or you're somebody that always sees the glass half empty, or you're somebody that tends to have, you know, more pessimistic attitudes and beliefs in your life, how's that working out for you? Is that making you feel good? Is that making you feel the way you want? Is that allowing you to show up in your life as your best self for your family, for the people that you interact with? No, absolutely not. Nobody, I've never met a single person that would say, Sean, I'd rather be in a bad mood than a good mood. Sean, I'd rather be unmotivated than motivated. Sean, I'd rather have a bad life than a good life. We are all here striving to be happy, to experience elevated emotional states. So when I see people who are writing books or people on social media saying, oh, it's not realistic to always think positively or be positive in your life. Oh, you know, it's not healthy to expect yourself always to be happy and positive. That guy is an idiot. Okay. (laughs) He's sending a really bad message to people because the thing is we're all battling internally. Everyone on a day-to-day basis is conflicted with negative emotions that they have to either combat and overcome or succumb to. This is what happens. From the moment you open your eyes to the moment you go to sleep, you're going to be attacked internally. Okay. Some people call this the devil. Other people just refer to it as being pessimistic and negative, right? But it happens and we all deal with it. That's why your daily actions and having routines and a system and something that you can do when you're feeling those low emotional states is so crucial because you don't want to stay stuck there. So for the guy who puts out the message saying, oh, you know, always expecting yourself to be positive and optimistic, you know, that's not realistic. Like that's not healthy for you. Like, I don't agree with that guy. I understand what he's saying. He's saying don't have unrealistic expectations because no one's ever happy, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't have tools and recourse to shift you out of that low emotional state and make you feel positive, make you feel happy, make you feel motivated. Like I'm not okay with having a minute of my life wasted being angry, upset, or emotionally distraught. I'm just not. Now you might be because you haven't gone through the things I've gone through. 
Maybe you didn't suffer like I did. Maybe you didn't spend 2,000 days in prison wanting this life so badly, wanting the second chance so badly. So you're ungrateful for what you have. So you think having those no, negative emotions, those low emotions are okay and acceptable. I don't. I hold myself to a higher standard. That does not mean I'm delusional. If I'm having a moment where I feel irritable, I address it. If I'm having a moment where anger, angst, low emotional states, sadness, whatever it is, are afflicting me, I address it. I don't just pretend it's not happening. I peel back the layers within myself and I start to dissect myself. I ask questions like, why am I feeling this way? What happened that triggered me to feel this way? What did or did I not do earlier in my day that led to this emotional state? And I analyze myself. And by doing that, oftentimes I can pinpoint something I did or didn't do that wasn't aligning to the person I want to be and that got me off course and it's still unresolved internally. So when I identify what triggered me or why I'm feeling that way, I can now do something about it. I could talk about it. I could write about it. Or I can go t take some action that aligns to my goals, that aligns to my vision, that aligns to who I want to be. And that shifts me into a higher emotional state. So this is literally self-mastery. If you are going through your day feeling low energy, depression, anxious, if you're going through your day feeling irritable, mad, or upset, that's normal to experience those emotions, but it's not okay to stay stuck in that emotional state. It's your responsibility for how you feel. You can't control what happens to you in life. Most times we don't have control over what happens. We don't know if tomorrow a tidal wave is going to take out California. We don't know if an earthquake is going to rip apart the United States. We don't know if aliens are going to come down and abduct you. Like you don't know. You think you do, but you don't. So we have no idea what's going to take place. However, you do have control over your emotional state and how you react to the events you experience in life. And this is where self-mastery and personal development come into play. The guy who can go through situations in life and find the positive potential or the silver lining will always be at an advantage to the guy that gets down on himself, talks shit to himself in his head, and starts to feel like a victim because of what he's going through. I don't care who you are, whatever you go through, there is always the potential to grow and learn from that set of circumstances. And that's true if you believe it. But if you're like one of these naysayers on social media or these guys writing books telling you it's okay to be sad and you should just accept mediocrity and you could just go through your life never feeling special or feeling like you deserve more and stop talking positively to yourself, like that's bullshit. If you listen to those guys and you believe them, what kind of life you can have? Because this is something I'm seeing often. So. The thing that has helped me to continuously grow and to change and to evolve and to just find more gratitude and love in my life is literally knowing that I'm here on this planet imperfect. And I'm here to learn and grow and evolve. I'm not born knowing everything. I'm here to learn through trial and error, through mistakes, through failures, through setbacks. That's how we learn the best. So when these things happen, I don't get discouraged. I know that I'm on a journey and I'm on a mission to become my best self. And those obstacles often veer me in a new direction or help me to learn something that I can then take with me on this journey. And that's my best advice for you today. Positive thinking doesn't mean that you're delusional. Positive thinking doesn't mean you ignore what you're really experiencing or reality. Positive thinking means that no matter what you go through, you learn and find a way to leverage that experience to become a better version of yourself. No matter what, no matter if it's death, despair, tragedy, no matter what you go through until the day you take your last breath, it's your responsibility to leverage your life experience, to feel the way you want to feel and to move towards a desired outcome. And that's it.